So far we've seen how we can read data and uh, read sensitive data like usernames, passwords, URLs, all that kind of stuff uh, when we are the man in the middle. Now I spoke about modifying the packets. So what we're going to see today is something called DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing will allow us to redirect any request to a, to a domain to another domain. For example, if someone requests facebook.com, we can redirect them to Google, we can redirect them to Yahoo, we can redirect them to a fake Facebook page, we can redirect them to a Facebook page that contains a Trojan and hack their entire computer, we can redirect them to our own server, we can redirect them to any place that we want. The attack is very simple and it works just because we are the man in the middle. So once we run a program called DNS spoof, we'll uh, configure it in a way that once it sees a certain domain, it'll redirect or it'll send a different response to the target person. So I'll run the attack and you'll actually, it'll become clearer how it works when I run the attack. So first of all, we're going to create a configuration file. So I've already made one here. By the way, I'm, I'm using a free file manager called S file manager. It's really handy as you can see it here. You can download it from the app store or from the play store. And what I have here, I have my DNS spoof configuration file. So I just have it called DNS spoof right here. So I'm gonna open it as text using the text editor. And as you can see, it's very simple. The first part of the file, as you can see here, I specified the IP address that I want to redirect to. And the second part, we put the uh, domain that we want to hijack or that we want to spoof. So anytime a person or the target person tries to access facebook.com, they will be redirected to this URL or to this IP address. Now, how this works, uh, I'm going to run a program called DNS spoof and I'm going to tell the program to work according to this configuration. So the program, whenever it sees that there is a packet uh, looking for facebook.com, it's going to go to this IP address, get the website that is running on this IP address and send it instead of sending facebook.com. Simple as that. This IP right here, the 192.168.1.1.0, you can change that to any IP you want. This is the website where Facebook is going to be spoofed. Now I have this particular address because I have a web server uh, running here. So I, wa I wanted to do this using uh, my own web server to show you that you can actually put anything there in that web server and we will be doing stuff like that in the future we will be using fake websites or fake pages so you can actually just put a fake page on this web server and then they're gonna see it instead of yeah. seeing the actual page for now i just have a basic just a html page uh, for demonstration in this class but in the future as i said we will be doing more advanced stuff so the web server is running here on another virtual machine this virtual machine is uh, a Kali Linux machine. Again, you don't have to do this. You can redirect to anywhere you want. I'm just doing it here to show you. So this is a Kali, a Kali Linux machine. So Kali, we're using a, ver a version of Kali on our Android device, but there's also a Kali distribution that you can install uh, as a virtual machine or as a main machine. And it has all the tools that you need for penetration testing. So I'll just show you here what I have or what's going to redirect to. So var www, that's where the server is. And I basically just have an index.html, just a normal HTML page that just says YOLO. Now you can change this to anything you want. As I said, we're just doing a demonstration here. So uh, you should actually start the server, the web server on your machine. Again, you don't have to do this if you're using another IP address. And I'll show you that this is the machine that we're going to redirect to. So as you can see, this is the IP of the machine. And that's what we are redirecting to here in our Android device. So uh, the configuration is done, as you can see. Now all we have to do, and we are already the man in the middle because uh, we're using the bad USB attack. So all I'm going to do is just go back to my terminal and I'm going to run DNS spoof. So DNS 
uh, you put the interface so our interface is or ndis 0 and you put the configuration file that we just created and the file is stored in SD card files DNS now DNS spoof is running and let's go try to access Facebook and see what happens and as you can see I got redirected to a page just saying YOLO as I said you can change this to whatever you want and you can see here that this doesn't change so it's still saying it's going to www.facebook.com but we are not in Facebook we went somewhere else so this can be used to serve a fake Facebook page and bypass HSTS so if the target person was using HSTS you can just create yourself a fake Facebook page and get him to log in to that from here and this way you'll be able you won't be decrypting HS2, uh, HSTS but uh, you'll be able to redirect him to a fake page and gain access to their username and password you can also get them to download something uh, and that will be a backdoor you can do a lot of things with DNS spoofing and we will see how useful it is and how we can use it in different attacks